So I'm at the house at 840 Mesa Verde in the Mesa Oaks subdivision. This will be the condition of the home as of May 31st, 2016, about 2 p.m. in the afternoon. This subdivision is located off of I-35, so you're close to Loop 1604, Randolph Air Force Base, and there's an elementary school just about a mile away. Got beautiful landscaping here in the front. Two-car garage with a garage door opener. The house itself is a four-bedroom, three-and-a-half bath, single-story home which is hard to find in this size. The square footage is roughly 2,587 square feet. We got beautiful brick exterior on three sides. We got a nice uh, stained concrete here uh, front patio. Let's take a look inside the home. We'll do a layout of the home before I actually walk it. Right at the front when we enter the home we got a nice entry here. Nice uh, ceiling pop-up ceiling detail here. To my immediate left is going to be the office and study with the double doors. To the left here would be the half bath, access to the two-car garage and utility room. To my immediate right is going to be the fourth bedroom and full bath. Straight ahead to the right will be the uh, formal dining room, kitchen on that side. To the far left corner will be two additional bedrooms and a bath. And to the far right corner of the house will be the masters. So right in here we have beautiful tile floors. Throughout most of the home we also have stained concrete in uh, several areas. This here is a good size uh, office or study area. We've got ceiling fans throughout most of the house and neutral colors. So this would be the fourth bedroom. Here we go, we've got a nice size bedroom here, ceiling fan, good size closet and it has a full bath which is nice. It's got granite countertops, beautiful countertops throughout the home. You have your commode and your shower tub uh, tile enclosure. Right here near the uh, garage door entry we have a mud room so you can get uh, get in here and kind of put away your items here some shelf space this is the half bath get your pedestal sink commode as I turn around here nice pantry here with uh, custom uh, glass doors there and then the utility room you got a built-in sink and washer dryer connections so it makes it easier to uh, rinse off the clothes before you wash them. This leads of course to the kitchen, but I'm going to enter through the other way, kind of give you a better overview of it. Let's go this direction. So this direction is uh, your formal dining on the right. Beautiful stained concrete here. You can fit a good sized table here. And then this gives you a good view of the open kitchen. It's a beautiful kitchen. We got recessed lighting, we got granite countertops, you got the uh, island as well as an extra buffet table there. So you have lots of space to entertain, lots of uh, cabinet space as well. So we have the dual sinks, we have the stainless dishwasher, flat top stove, beautiful kitchen. We have the built in oven and the microwave. The fridge does not stay. We do have additional space here and we have a nice uh, brick front here. This is your breakfast bar, so you can put your stools here, use it as additional eating surface. Up the kitchen here, you can see the breakfast nook area for your smaller table for your informal dining. And then right here off the kitchen is a nice custom detail they added. They was gonna make this like a wine room. Um, you can put some extra items back here behind the uh, wrought iron door. Let's head over to the media room. So this is another thing they added on here, an extra custom media room. A lot of uh, space for a single story. It's very hard to find a house of this size. Got some nice uh, custom woodwork here. Very nice stained concrete, very large living room space here. See we got lots of furniture and you still have a lot of room to move around. 
Let's head over here to bedrooms two and three. I always call the uh, master's bedroom number one. So this is the closest bedrooms I call two and three. So we have neutral colors, ceiling fan, and blinds. And there is your closet space. This is another full bath with the granite counters. Commode, and again, same uh, tile enclosure for the shower tub. Here's another good sized bedroom. Again, ceiling fan. The high ceilings really make it uh, feel more open. Since we're here, let's head over to the backyard. We got, again, nice uh, detail here in the patio. Kind of a design inlay there. Perfect place to entertain. You got double ceiling fans here. And then you have a fenced yard. And if you see behind this fence, there actually is quite a distance, I would say probably about 20 feet between your back fence and the back fence of the neighbor further away. So that's nice not to have somebody directly behind your fence line. And then let's head over to the masters. So we've got the nice stained concrete as well throughout the living room area here. Here's a good sized masters. You should be able to fit a king size bed, uh, have room for nightstands, etc. You see, we have some good size furniture in here. There's still room uh, to move around, so it's spacious. Double doors leading to a luxurious master bathroom. We got uh, separate sinks, so you're not crowded next to each other. You got a sink on either side. You got a nice jacuzzi jet, uh, deep garden tub. There is a separate one uh, sink with a sitting area or a stool area. Here is the tile shower, so the enclosure goes here, nice detail here. That is going to be the door to the commode, so you have uh, your door for privacy. And then we have a very nice size walk-in closet with lots of a built-in organizer here, lots of shelf space, hanging space, etc. So this is a definitely a beautiful home. Four bedrooms, three and a half bath. Again, square foot is roughly 2,587 square feet, quite large for a single story. If you'd like more information about this home or like to schedule a showing, my name is Mark Fee. My cell number is 210-618-9161. Or you can call the office at Liberty Management at 210-681-8080. Thank you.